But don't get too worried if, if these kind of random thoughts and images pop up in your head while you're listening in prayer. Because that may be exactly what God is trying to tell you. Do you keep seeing someone's face? Does a particular need or action keep coming to mind? Maybe it's something that God wants you to pay attention to. So don't dismiss those and try to to get rid of everything because that may be God speaking to you. Some people even keep a prayer journal beside them while they pray, and when they get these thoughts and images, they write them down so they can look back and see patterns and see if God might be trying to tell them something. Other people use prayer journals to write down answered prayers, what they prayed for, and then they go back and see how God has answered them. You can use a prayer journal in in many different ways. Get creative with your prayer. Lauren Hernandez uses a book by Sybil Macbeth called Praying in Color. And this is for all of those for whom uh, art is, uh, is something that's important to them. It's a form of praying for others. And she starts by writing the name of the person that she's praying for on a blank sheet of paper in her journal. And then she colors designs on the page as she lifts them up in prayer. In the days ahead, as she continues to pray for for this person, her art grows. The images remind her of her prayers for this person and, and become another way for God to speak to her. And you don't even have to buy a book in order to do that. All it takes is just a, a blank prayer journal. In fact, Sue Lehrer from Stamping Saints was making journals as a fundraiser for Ridpa, and I'm sure that she'd be glad to, to make one for you uh, if you want to, uh, to ask her. There's just a lot of things you can do in prayer that you may have never tried before. And I want to encourage you to use these different things on this prayer card as a way to grow deeper in your prayer because there's power in prayer. One of the ways, I don't even know if it's on the card, but one of the ways uh, that I love to pray is by singing. One of the, uh, the ways that we can lift up our prayers to God is through the words of a song. That's what the Psalms were. There's just so many different ways to pray. And it's all powerful as long as we do it. As long as in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, we present a request to God. Prayer isn't the last resort. It's the first resort of a spirit-filled Christian. It's not just the brake pedal on the car. It's the accelerator, the tires, the headlights, the radio, the very engine that moves us forward in our life with God. There is power in prayer. The power of a faithful God. So let's pray once more as we close today. Let's close with the the wonderful old prayer, Three Things We Pray, from number 493 in the hymnal. Let us pray. Thanks be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits which thou hast given us, for all the pains and insults which thou hast borne for us. O most merciful Redeemer, friend, brother, may we know thee more clearly love thee more dearly and follow thee more nearly for thine own sake. Amen. And amen. And now,